in this building that opened this season and now hosting a game for the last time this year. It will be Texas or Louisville. Moving on to the Sweet 16. We are ready to go here in Austin. Off the opening tip, Texas looks for the layup, but a turnover on the pass into Patty Fye, so Louisville will take over after the early turnover. Mikasa Robinson for the cards. Outstanding player on both ends of the floor. Cochran trying to work on Gaston and muscles it up for the first two and look at the reaction from Olivia Cochran as she runs up the floor. Starting five for Texas, presented by Capital One. Harmon at the point, Gonzalez had 20 the last time out. Shea Holly, Phi, Deanna Gaston, a presence on the inside, and already a couple of poor passes so far for Texas, and this time a foul is called on Deanna Gaston. Well, one thing that Louisville is going to have to do a better, Texas rather is going to have to do a better job of taking care of the ball. Two turnovers on the first two possessions, not a good look, Gaston going to the bench. And she's going to get an earful from head coach Vic Schaefer as she heads off. Amina Muhammad, a freshman, 6'4", comes into the game for Texas. The starting five for the Cardinals. 24 wins on the season. Robinson, Van Lith, Chris Lynn Carr. Cochran scored the first points. And freshman Nyla Harris rounding out the starting five. Good, strong take by the freshman. And a good start for Louisville. Well, it's interesting. We were able to be in practice yesterday. And what we see, what we have seen thus far, is what we saw in practice yesterday, how they were in shoot-around today, the focus being locked in for Louisville, Texas, trying to get it started. They got to at least get a shot attempt to the basket. Harmon dishes it down to Muhammad, the freshman rolling to the basket, and she was fouled. And will head to the free throw line. Cochran picks up the foul. So Vic Schaefer, in his third season as Texas head coach, trying to get them back to the Sweet 16 where they were in his first two seasons. They did that one better by making it to the Elite Eight in his first two seasons as Mohamed misses the first. And Jeff Walls, you heard one of his final messages to his team in his locker room about being on the glass because this is a big, physical Texas team. But Walls felt pretty confident that his team would be able to battle physically with Texas here today. Do you believe and agree with Jeff Walls? Well, I think just the way that they've started the game off, they have been the aggressor since the beginning, since the ball tipped off. So if they can keep that energy alive, and of course, we got to even look at the game against Drake. Drake put Louisville on their heel. They, Louisville able to win that game, but I, I think the intensity, the focus, the communication, all the things we heard the players talk about in the press conferences, and Chris Lynn Carr with the steal. Another turnover for Texas. Here's Carr with the push, and two players go down, and a foul is going to be called on five for Texas. Nyla Harris trying to make her way to the block and fight trying to stop her so physicality is definitely something that we're going to be looking at Cochran tries to find Van Litt Rory Harmon as she normally is in the middle of everything defensively gets it ahead to Holly back to Harmon There's Gonzalez. This is the one who has to get going offensively for Texas. Turning inside and getting denied is Muhammad. Well, body just continue to fall. <laughs> I don't know how many times it's seen people on the floor. Monday night demolition derby here in Texas. <laughs> I thought that was Friday nights. Back to Van Lith and she'll try to settle things down. Well, you know, you've been there. When you were in an elimination game, Especially in those opening minutes. I mean your nerves are really really Sensitive you're on edge right from the opening tip and lift Settles things down with a three so Louisville finding the rhythm slowed down in the offense when they got the offensive rebound You just said it rebounding is critical for both sides both things that teams have talked about Harmon 
Doesn't normally look for her shot, but Texas needed something, and they got it from Lori Harmon. She does average 11 points a game. That's the first two for Texas. Robinson attacks and feeds it inside to Harris. Second chance here for the Cards. Well, Vic Schaefer's already out of the jacket. That didn't take long. We're inside of three minutes, and it works as Holly comes back the other way. But look at the outstanding defensive player, Mikasa Robinson. And really, we have two elite defenders in Harmon and Robinson going head-to-head -head here today. Let's take you back to a couple of hoops here. Van Litt for three. I love it. Van Litt always ready to score in shooting position for sure. But Roy Harmon coming back. You said it. When the team needs a basket, Roy steps up. Gonzalez back to Harmon. And look at Taylor Jones posting up down low, trying to be a big, big presence. Jones coming off a good game against ECU in the first round, and Harmon looking for her shot. She's got the first four for the Longhorns. I think Texas is trying to go so fast, but you need to find they got to slow down and get in their rhythm. Hopefully, with Harmon making those baskets, other players will step up. But Haley Van Litt. With another bucket. Haley Van Lith, as Tamika mentioned right at the top of the telecast, had such a strong close because it was a slow start. She had two fouls in the first quarter against Drake. Harmon is fouled by Robinson, who gives a wave to lead official Michael Price, who lets it go. Got to be careful, though, you know, your energy and everything, your emotions are, you're, you're wearing them on your sleeve, but in a game like this, you can also can't afford to pick up a quick technical for waving off the rest. So here is the sophomore from Houston, Rory Harmon. Nick Schaefer has been red hot on the bench. He's been marching up and down. Deanna Gaston has been drawing his ire. Along with Hattie Fye, two of the starters, is Harmon at the free throw line with the 12 assists in the East Carolina game. And of course, you know why, as Muhammad tries to get it back to Taylor Jones, and here's Van Lith. Van Lith going all the way, and Jones gets called for the foul. Well, you saw that happening as Haley Van Lith is driving down the floor, Taylor Jones on her heel, trying to get the block. She had six blocks in the last game, but here you see it. Trying to go for another one. You know, as Van Lith goes to the free throw line, Big Schaefer, well, that's why he wears a suit, you know. Like, everybody else has gone casual here, but Vic wears a suit, so when he rips off the jacket, you know. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> it's, it's on it's and it's go time. time. But he is more red than burnt orange in the face after the start for this team. <laughs> As a lot's been put on Harmon's shoulders to score. That's not what she's there for. She is a facilitator at seven and a half assists a game. And here comes Louisville bringing the pressure. Well, I think Roy Harmon is really whatever you need her to be. And of course, you know, you want your shooter to be ready to score. But you get a couple of possessions down the floor, you got to find a way to generate some offense. Liz Dixon on the floor for the cards. She brings some size. Here's Gonzalez, defended by Carr. And Dixon denies another turnover by Texas. That's five already for the Longhorns here in the opening minutes. Carr, good three-point shooter, not this time. Texas needs to move the ball quicker. By the time Holly had that ball and tried to pass it in, it wasn't good enough. Taylor Jones steps up. Jones, 16 points, eight rebounds, six blocks against ECU, she was five of six from the field, and she comes through off the bench for her first two. Van Lith cannot settle back on her, but she misses. Quickly back the other way, Gonzalez. And you hear the stadium going crazy. Transition game, I think on both sides, is gonna be big. Van Lith tries again. In and out, Harmon with the rebound. Lead out to Gonzalez, taken away by Carr. That's six turnovers. Carr, Van Lith, the great fake, the drive for two. 
eight early points for Haley Van Lith after going for 26. Robinson picks up her second personal foul and a timeout on the floor. Four and a half to go here in the first. NCAA Women's Championship presented by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Good start so far in this second round matchup between Louisville and Texas and two coaches who are made for March. Look at these numbers since 2017. Their records, Jeff Walls 27 and eight, Vic Schaefer 34 and eight, five sweet 16s, four elite eights for Louisville, five for Vic Schaefer in his time at Mississippi State and now two years in Texas. The players change, the years change, but they are very consistent year after year as Harmon drives out of the timeout. And here comes Louisville's Morgan Jones back the other way with the push. Well, one thing we know when March comes, they have their team prepared, and Coach Schaefer always talked about at what point in the season it takes to start getting ready for, for March. For March Madness, you start in the beginning, of course, Jeff Walls on his end. Two and a half weeks before we get into March Madness, he is getting his team prepared and revved up. They have formulas that have proven true time and again. Now, this is interesting here. Walls, as Holly knocks down the three, Walls sticking with Robinson on the floor here with the two personal fouls, Tamika. Cochran is playing with a ton of confidence right from the jump. Dixon can hit the rebound for Muhammad. I don't think you can afford to take Robinson off the, the floor. Just the way that she plays, you need her. Let's see, they go to Gonzalez, defended by Robinson. And now Morgan Jones. And Lip defended by the elite defender, Harmon. And Lip, great find, great recovery by Jones who had six blocks in round one. Taylor Jones so effective in getting the ball in the air, not fouling on that last one. Now Robinson defending Harmon. Van Lip sticking with Gonzalez with the deflection. Five to shoot. Here's Holly. Block cleanly. Morgan Jones, three to shoot for Texas. That, right? like, I like the length right there. Just go back and look at the block. Taylor Jones just seeing the ball, blocking it up against the backboard, and then of course you come to this end. The length right now that Louisville has, some of those drives, Holly trying to take it to the basket. Jacqueline, by the time that comes into the game, Texas has to shoot. They didn't have awareness for the time on the clock. I think Vic Schaefer's upset with Rory Harmon, the point guard, more than anything else. That's her job to make sure everyone on the court knows, especially on the far end of the floor here in the first half of the Texas bench. Agreed, Eric. It's always the point guard. It's everybody on the floor's responsibility, but definitely the point guard. Robinson playing with the two. Let's see how aggressive she is. Pretty aggressive. Takes it at Holly. <laughs> Louisville continue to switch up their defense. They got the full court. They've seen a little bit of zone, a little bit of man, a lot of different looks. See, they're trying to go after Robinson. This time it was with the freshman winning Tonda. And it'll be Longhorn basketball inside of two minutes to go in the first quarter. Chrislyn Carr comes back in the game, and for the third straight year, every NCAA Women's Championship game is on the networks of ESPN. For more information, go to NCAA.com, your home for all 90 NCAA championships. Eight teams moving on to the Sweet 16 last night, eight more tonight. Seattle and Greenville regionals will be filled out completely. Winner of this game takes on Ole Miss in Seattle. Holly with four on the shot clock on the drive. Followed up and put in by Taylor Jones. 
Taylor Jones has been really physical the last couple of games and knowing what her job, what her responsibility is. You gotta get down low, you gotta play big, you gotta be ready to get those offensive rebounds. She is playing with a lot of confidence. Dixon can hit that shot, won't drop this time. Harmon back inside, great pass. Jones unable to finish. Van Lith gets it back from Dixon. Final minute, first quarter. Van Lith tried to make the extra pass. Van Lith off the mark for three. What you're seeing right now, missed shots become almost like loose ball turnover. Both teams wanting to get the ball up and down the floor. Gonzalez on the run. Tie game. Well, we may be tied after one, but that must feel like a win for Texas after they fell behind 7-0 from the jump. Longhorns come back to tie it up at the end of one. I like the energy level in this building. I like the intensity. I know you do too, Tamika Catchings. It's a cool moment here on Saturday night. It's our impact move brought to you by UFO. On the pull up. And it's 2,000 for Shaley Gonzalez. And this was the view from the family section as she gave the hook'em horns back to her family, who uh, it's most of the crowd here tonight. The Gonzalez family well represented. Mom Candace, Dad Josh in the middle of everything. 11 at last count family members were here to root on Shaley from Gilbert, Arizona in her first season with Texas after her standout career at BYU. She's got a rebound here to start the second quarter. Game is getting real physical. Louisville able to get it on the run. Great finish by Jones. So offense started by defense. Louisville getting the two blocks and then getting it on a transition. Ali back out to Gonzalez. Rebound to Morgan Jones, who just scored for the cards. Perhaps looking for more here. Card. Cochran. Shut off. Was it deep trouble, but it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be pretty good. And exactly, and figuring out a way to power up. Obviously, you see Taylor Jones down there. Don't want to run into her. Cards back out to a four point lead. Look how high Taylor Jones is posting up a little bit further out. Looking against Josie Williams in off the bench. Harmon was on her way down, kept her balance just long enough. And here come the cards. Carr. Good recovery by Texas, an outstanding defensive team, but great work by Louisville to find the open three. Offensive rebound, a second chance here for the Cards. That's Josie Williams. Good job, Josie Williams getting the ball, going up strong. Taylor Jones trying to get the block, not able to finish. 16 of the 22 Louisville points have come in the paint so far. So it's interesting because we look at Texas as being a team trying to get the ball down low. Louisville hasn't been able to hit up the outside shot, but doing a great job of finding something inside. Awkward shot and another rebound for Morgan Jones. Good start to the first quarter for Louisville. Good start to the second quarter here for the Cards. They've scored the first six points of this quarter. Back 
for Cochran. Seven to shoot. Cochran trying to do it off the dribble. Cochran on the fadeaway. Here's Harmon. I think Louisville's at their best when they're passing the ball. Moving the ball around. Harmon in the middle. Harmon with a Gets beautiful, foul. beautiful feed to Gonzalez, who couldn't finish, but Harmon following things up. And she took the shot to the left. So Gaston's going to come back in for Texas. Texas have to go to the bench early. You see Sonia Morris back on the floor, her second straight game. She returned against East Carolina. She had missed 10 straight with a quad injury that dated back to February 4th. How important is a healthy Morris or a healthy enough Morris to Texas and what they want to do? Well, I think the big thing, she got to be able to knock down shots. We talked to Coach Schaefer about, hey, what does she bring? She brings you another score. She brings you another guard. They've been really limited from the guard position with her being out. So hopefully she'll get her tough point early. Harmon can hit the rebound to Williams. And lift. Williams will try for a three. How about that? Josie Williams in her first season with Louisville played at Utah Valley the last four seasons is a huge spark off the bench for the Cardinals. I love it when you can get the three going, get them raining in Louisville. Josie up at top from the rotation. Taylor Jones trying to come out, but Williams knocked it down. Gotta love it when you see it. Averaging three points a game coming in. She's got five already out the bench, and it's helped Louisville outscore Texas 9-0 to start the quarter. And out of the timeout, it's Deanna Gaston for her first two. Uh, first two for Texas in this second quarter all together. So Gaston went to the bench early in the first quarter. And I think Coach Schaefer was upset with the way that she started the game. Marissa Russell. Carr's been off so far and is still off from outside the three-point line. She's now 0 for 3 from beyond the arc and 0 for 4 overall. Just the second NCAA game of her career in her first season here with Louisville. And Jones was fouled by Williams. Jones trying to shake it off. Oh, we've already talked about just how physical it is. We've seen both teams and the physicality. Look at William basically hugging Jones. Oh, it does look at first glance that Gianna Gaston received the message from her head coach. Well, if you want to play, this is the big game. This is the time that you need to step up and play for your teammates. Williams. Fed inside, it's Williams blocked by Jones, cleaned up by Gaston. Quickly ahead to Gonzalez. She'll work it back out to Harmon. Morris was fouled by Russell on the drive. Sonia Morris, good job of attacking the basket, trying to get closer. Up the out of bounds, you see the 2 3 zone by Louisville. Gaston can't get this. Dixon with the rebound. Back into the game with Cochran. Bad lift. Russell. On the drive for two. Every single time it looks like Texas is going to make a run. Louisville comes back. They calm down their offense. They always look at that transition. They've been doing a good job of executing. Here's Harmon. Inside of four and a half to go in the first half. Morris. Gaston doubled. Russell tipped it away, and it was last touch by Jones. Good job by Louisville's defense. We are in Austin, Texas, the brand new Moody Center. Winner going on to Seattle. Well, Olivia Cochran has been phenomenal so far in this first half. And 
sitting with six points, but what I love is her intensity going to the basket, scoring, finishing, taking it up strong. This is the first basket. You see the energy right there, and I feel like that has been the energy that has been transferred over to the team. Look at the points in the paint. Louisville been very efficient in getting the ball down low, whether through the drive, whether through the pass, offensive rebound. They've just done a good job so far in this first half. They are minus five in rebounding margin, but they are holding their own in the paint thanks to the work done by Olivia Cochran, who had seven points against Drake, four in that decisive fourth quarter. She's got six so far today, helping Louisville to a seven-point lead. You talked about it before, that Drake game, Louisville had to fight from the opening tip. One at 83-81, they shot 10 of 15 from the field in the fourth. Van Lith had seven points in the final minute, including that key three-point play with 18 seconds to go, where we thought they were going to throw in the backcourt. Instead, they attacked the basket. They got the end one to help put it away. Van Lith is fouled on the perimeter. <laughs> Like the rotation, Texas trying to figure out a way to slow Haley Van Lith, but she's so good when she has her head up. Jones, Haley Jones, number 44, going to the bench with her second foul. So Jones to the bench with two. Picasso Robinson picked up two in the first quarter, stayed in the game, but she's not been on the bench for a while for the cards. Van Lith turning and scoring. Haley Van Lith into double figures with 10. When you are looking for somebody that can step in and score at will, Haley Van Lith is that player. She has the ball in her hand. You know something good is going to happen. This 13 4 run has given Louisville its largest lead of the game, and they have a chance to add to it here. Carr trying to turn Harmon around and finishes. Double digit lead for Louisville here in Austin. You always hear the term about punching first, and when you get into a game like this, you have to be aggressive. I feel like from the tip, Louisville has been aggressive. Everything that they have done has been aggressive. And on the defensive end, Dixon with the block. And you think about aggressive right here, Haley Van Lift. You see when she comes up the floor, her eyes are up. Tack mode right into the shot is good. That's what Haley Van Lift can do. Gaston again looking to score. Drops it in. She has been a different player after that opening minute. Practice yet today and just making sure you got to be locked in. Dixon rolls to the basket and scores. Nice little shot fake right there. Nine different scores so far for Louisville here in the first half. Cash. Sharing the ball, moving it, passing it, getting up and down in transition. Everybody's running the floor. You can tell the sense of urgency from this team. They are shooting 50% from the field against this outstanding Texas defensive team. Oh, look at this, the passing right here, finding open players, nice little fake. And Dixon able to get that ball to drop. They got five assists on 15 make, but I think even for some of the one-on-ones that they've had, they've moved the ball, dribbled into the gap. That's where you get the points in the paint, 22 to 12. Louisville. So Russell got fin whistle for that foul to make That's her second personal. So Robinson with two, Marissa Russell with two, as Russell checks out. Van Lip gets run over by five. Five trying to make her way to the basket, but Van Lip is just standing there. Got to run around. And Haley Van Lith with a nice little loud clap right in front of that Texas bench. I love this matchup right here, don't you? Harmon and Van Lith, and now Gaston knocks down Olivia Cochran. The intensity has gone up. Louisville has set the tone of how these teams are playing. They are all in. 
denying them, making it hard for Texas to find those reversals. That's two personal fouls on Gaston, who has all six of the Texas points here in this quarter. The Louisville's outscored the Longhorns 17-6 here in the second. Dixon on the turnaround. No, Gaston was fouled by, fouled by Carr. Personally, Carr giving up just a little size on the inside. <laughs> Trying to see if she can get it in the air, or maybe when she fell down, be able to take the ball. So Louisville's over the limit. Texas shooting a couple free throws here. And Gaston will go to the strike. The NCAA Men's Basketball Championship continues with the Sweet 16. Coverage begins Thursday, 6.30 Eastern on TBS, later on CBS. For more information on game times and networks, go to NCAA.com. Texas women trying to join the Texas men in the Sweet 16. After they knocked off Penn State this weekend, Texas will play Xavier on Friday in Kansas City. Pressure from Texas in the backcourt. Jones back to Carr. That's a smart play right there. You don't have anything in front of you. Pull the ball out, try to get a better basket. Carr in, Dixon up. Great work again on the boards. Dixon still fighting for it, and she touched it last. Texas ball. Doing a great job in the paint this quarter with 12 of their 17. Gonzalez. See the zone right here in Louisville. Oh, great job getting it in. Not able to finish Gonzalez. Hard gamble. Tried to knock it away from Gonzalez. Who came up short on the shot. One minute to go in the second quarter. Louisville ball. Again, they go with the long pass to the midcourt to Morgan Jones. Gets it back from Carr. Jones, what a first half for Morgan Jones. It just feels like she's been in the middle of everything. She's got four points now, but she's also got five rebounds and an assist. Two for two from the field. Uh, you talk about being in the right place at the right time and giving your team whatever they need, defensively, offensively, on the board. The emphasis for both teams being rebounded. Armin. Tried to take it over Copper and could not. Shot clock is off and Van Lift will slow things down. Final 10 seconds of the quarter. Carr trying to take Gonzalez off the dribble. And she earns a trip to the free throw line. Oh, no, what were we saying before about, you know, she was giving up some size inside? Nobody told her that. <laughs> she baited the defense, and you see five now with three fouls. Zero point, three fouls. So that front court depth is going to be put to the test for Texas here tonight. Van Lift goes to the bench for the final seconds of the first half. And here is... Crystal Carr. That's a smart play, taking Van Lick to the, to the bench as well. She had zero fouls. We saw her sitting on the sideline last game with two fouls early on in the first half. Carr comes through at the free throw line. Texas time as Harmon gets across half court for a final heave. 
And that will do it. Well, Rebecca Lobo talked about it in the studio, taking care of the basketball. That has been the recipe here for Louisville. Just two first-half turnovers for the Cardinals. They are on top by 14 at halftime as we send it to the studio. Seven. It'll be Texas basketball to start things here in the third quarter. Mikasa Robinson limited in the first half to just eight minutes and ten seconds on the floor to start quarter three for the Cards. Taylor Jones getting a third quarter start here for Texas. And an early foul called on Olivia Cochran. Well, that's going to be Cochran's second foul, but one of the things you've got to be careful is you can't basically shove Taylor Jones that she was trying. You cannot direct or redirect the player as they're trying to cut. Gaston out to Harmon. Gaston scored all seven of the Texas points in that second quarter. Cochran on the run and a foul called on Rory Harmon. That'll be her first. I think one of the things that Louisville doing a good job, and we heard this even this morning, being loose on the defense. So when you're posting up, when Texas has a post up, there's somebody in front, there's somebody behind, they're not hugging the player, they're leaving space, but it's allowing them to get some of those tips and steals. Cochran had six points in the first half. She now has seven, which matches what she did against Drake. Winner of this game will take on Ole Miss, who shocked Stanford last night, winning by five. Louisville getting on the offensive glass, second chance here, thanks to the work by Nyla Harris. Carr. Jones with the block. Her third block. Uh, Taylor Jones. Very efficient in using her body and blocking the ball in the air, not getting called for those fouls. Six blocks, as we said, in the Saturday's performance. Going up to Cochran, shot clock winding down. Turnover by Louisville. That is just their third turnover of the game. Harvard shut off by Van Lip. Gaston looking for Jones, and the foul is going to be called on Nyla Harris. Trying to work against the bigger Jones. Well, when you asked Jeff Walls about this matchup and whether or not he liked it, he did like this matchup. And you look, well, Texas is so big and so physical, not many teams can match that. He was confident that his team could match their physicality and how they worked on the inside. Well, he liked this matchup a lot better. You know, you look at Saturday's performance against Drake and the way unconventionally so good at what they do. This is a bigger style, more physical. Louisville sometimes gets blamed for being playing and being really physical, so this is a good matchup. Harmon then lift, hits her on the arm. Two free throws going for Rory Harmon. Cards had to work hard against Drake. 83-81 was the final very good second half shooting. And they were 67% from the field in that fourth quarter. Haley Van Lith was the star in that fourth quarter. 19 total points in the second half. Texas against East Carolina had 12 block shots, picking up the 79-40 win. They shot 54%. They held ECU to 18%. Big Schaefer really thought his team played hard. They were, the word he used, interested on defense, which means they're active and engaged. But a little harder against Louisville here today, as you would imagine. Card shooting 43% from the field. On the season, Texas holding opponents to 37% shooting. Well, I think where Texas is struggling right now, three for eight from the free throw. They're shooting 38% from the free throw line. One of two for Harmon that trip. Carr knocks it down for the two. Six points for Carr. Remember, got off to the cold start, but then attacked the basket a little bit. And looks to be in a much better rhythm now after the slow start in this tournament. Struggled a little bit against Drake. Looked like she was a little nervous playing in her first ever NCAA tournament game. 
Well, this is her first time being here and being able to get this experience. So, so said he had to just put her on the bench, tell her to calm down, and I think she's been so much better this, this game. Making it tough on Rory Harmon. Harmon, though, looked like she almost had a, an assist after her highlight reel, but it just wouldn't drop for Texas. And Gaston going to get called for that third foul. You see it right there. They're trying to go up, trying to play. Great pass, just not able to finish. And she gets called for that foul. Gaston has three. And Texas trying to bring pressure to Louisville here. You know, it's interesting is you look at that layup right there, and I go back to Drake. How many missed layups did we see? And I really feel like Louisville does a good job of wearing you down. For the first half, have been up and down transition game. Defensively, they've been all over. Texas had four for 13 for layup just so far. I mean, we, we're not even just we're, we're early in the third quarter. Robinson defended by Holly. Cochran. Gaston. Stopped her, and a foul is going to be called on Harris. So for Harris, that will be two. Robinson with the two. Cochran with two. Russell with two. For Texas, Gaston's got three. Fye has three. And Jones has two. We expected a bit of bully ball here today. <laughs> a little physical, so the foul's adding up a bit. Gaston on the turnaround. I like that move for Gaston. You could tell she slowed her pace down. She calmed down. Very efficient. Able to get that shot in. Robinson. Kicks it out to Van Lith. Harmon out to defend her. Shot clock winding down. Rebounded by Taylor Jones. And Vic wants to see this team get into the transition game. Take it down low to Gaston. Cochran gets called for the personal. Three fouls on Olivia Cochran. I think that's what Texas has to do. They got to get the ball down low. But they got to be smart with their passes. Louisville at first was doing a good job of putting a player in front, player behind. Transition game has got to be where Texas picks up the pace and takes it in. I think Olivia Cochran got very close to the cliff's edge right there because she was saying something to Talisa Green, one of the officials, on her way to the bench. And Green told Jeff Walls to tell Olivia that's enough who's now on the bench with the three fouls. Once again, the pressure from Texas. Trying to turn the game around. And they get the steal. Gonzalez misses inside again. Harmon for two. for the home run pass to Gonzalez. Everybody thinks in the building that it went off of Mikasa Robinson. It will be Louisville ball. And they have gotten this crowd away. So the crowd's a little agitated. Knocked out of bounds by Harmon. Still Louisville basketball. 
Well, you can definitely tell the energy level has gone up. Texas got a couple baskets. They've gotten a couple still. Trying to bring the intensity up. They have got the fans behind them, and this place is rocking. Into the steady hand of Mikasa Robinson. Three-point attempt is no good by Russell. Harmon. Jones fouled by Dixon. If Texas is going to get to Seattle, it's going to have to happen on this end, the defensive end. Yeah, I love it right there. You see defense, defense, defense. Roy gets the rebound, goes straight up. And the Texas is taking advantage of the energy that is coming from the crowd. Another reason for home court advantage. First point in the second half for Taylor Jones, averaging just under 10 points a game. Battled injuries throughout the season, missed nine total games. It's been a big part of the story for the Longhorns this year. Not having a full, healthy roster. And these two teams met in November, which seems like a lifetime ago. Shaley Gonzalez was the only one in this starting five that was in that starting five. And a foul is called here on Gonzalez. That's her first. Louisville, you see Jeff Walls on the sidelines trying to calm his team down. Dan Lip get the score here in the second half. Tries to get going. And she'll head for the free throw line. Holly called for the foul. Another replay right here. Early band lift. You look at Holly. Every time you swing your hand down, you might get called for that foul. Holly swung it down just enough. Well for Van Lith, leading Louisville in scoring. Texas crowd will get loud again, trying to get the Longhorns back in it. They were down 14 at halftime, down 11 here in the third. Jones inside, another one at close range miss. Challenged by Louisville, and here come the cards. Got to use your legs a little bit more. You feel the energy. You've been working hard. Get those legs going. Gaston tried to grab it, but it's into the hands of Carr and a second chance here for Louisville. Carr looking for it. Got the handle back. Floater's too strong. And here's Harmon. To Jones running the floor. That one won't drop. Nice layup right there. Car for three, not able to hit. But tip back out and another second chance here for the cards. Car. This time it's short, but Dixon's on the loan for the putback. And the foul. It got loud in here. Jeff Walls kept this cool, and so did his team. Louisville on top of Texas here in the third quarter. We take you back to the Louisville locker room pregame and the last message Jeff Wall sent his team. What do you miss when it's called job security? Okay? Job security. So when you miss one, it's okay. Just get your butt down the floor. But then we got to put a body on somebody. Every time a shot goes up, you have to turn and find somebody. And I think they've done that here, Tamika Catchings. Look at the numbers so far when you take a look at rebounding. Well, the offensive rebound, what, what stands out right here, although it's, the numbers are kind of close, 28 to 28, as far as the overall rebound, Louisville's done a really good job of getting on the board. We thought that Texas, because they're bigger, would be able to push out and get more boards, but Louisville's fighting back. Dixon finishes the three-point play. 
The scoring is even here in this third quarter, 8-8. Eight, eight. And Louisville has missed shots. They're 2 of 13 in this quarter from the field. Here's Gaston, 5 back into the game. She's been battling foul trouble. Harmon, tough shot. Won't drop, but she'll go to the free throw line to shoot a couple. So Texas trying to get more aggressive, attack in the basket. They know they're not going to be able to get take one basket and get all these points back. So slowly but surely, you see them attacking the rim, trying to get more things closer. Harmon at the free throw line, 57% free throw shooter. Free throws have been an issue for Texas so far tonight. They are 6 of 13 from the line. Over two. And a foul's going to be called on five, trying to get the rebound. That'll be her fourth. And Texas is over the limit here in this quarter, so free throws the rest of the way for the cards. You know, it's interesting. You look at just the free throw, and then, well, I should say the missed free throw. At one point, Texas had gotten it down, so they were only down by 10. Starting to go on a run, get a couple of free throws, not able to knock them down at crucial times of the game. One of two for Russell. She's got three. So Jones has to come in. Five checks out with the four. Texas has got to find offense from someone other than Deanna Gaston since the end of the first quarter. She has been the most consistent by far Texas player. Molly on the drive. Good strong take. That won't drop. Yet another missed layup for Texas. Carr open for three. We'll take a timeout and let that three-pointer sink in a little bit here at the Moody Center. Well, Chris Lynn Carr has been taking three after three after three, and it is about time one go down. You can feel the intensity. Everybody on the bench up. Louisville has punched back here in Texas after the Longhorns got it to nine. They have stretched it out to an 18-point lead. Chrysler Carr with the three. She's got nine points. And Texas, which has struggled on offense at times, is struggling here tonight. Deanna Gaston is four for seven since the start of the second quarter. The rest of the team just one field goal since the end of that first quarter. Well, Gaston came out early in the first quarter, but back on, and I feel like her focus and the thing that Coach Schaefer was talking to on the bench, she brought back into the game, and she's the one that's been working. There have been other opportunities for Texas. They've missed some very close baskets, and now they got to try to get things going on the defensive end, try to get some turnovers and turn that into offense. Holly's going to get called for the foul. That's two on Shea Holly. Correction, that's three on Holly, three. Well, Eric, what you were saying, just about the layup, Texas not able to convert. When they do get the ball down low, other players having a score, but somebody had to step up. Louisville fans, big exhale. And Lith family is here. That Louisville crowd has tried to counter this Moody Center crowd with their energy and their noise, and they'll get loud here as that rebound goes off of Taylor Jones. You've got to make sure before you start looking to turn that you have both hands on the ball. Taylor Jones turned her head just a little bit, wasn't able to hold on to the ball. On the cut to the basket, and the Louisville Cardinals are up by 21 in the second half here in Austin. 12 unanswered points for the Cards. 
and making it look so easy right now. Then defensively, that's where it all starts. They have made every single shot hard for this Texas team. Robinson makes it hard on Gonzalez, but gets called for the foul. That'll be her third. And take another look at this inbound play and a great pass by Costa Robinson straight to Russell. Good you know, you, you love it when a plan comes together. That was one of the final plays that Louisville worked on at shoot around this morning. If there was a scenario that presented itself, that's exactly what they worked on this morning. And it was executed and it worked out with the drive to the basket on the baseline out of bounds play. Gonzalez with six. Average just under 13 a game on the season. Carr waiting for the Russell screen. Into the corner, Robinson. Dixon. Can't get it to drop, and guess who's got the rebound? Louisville's got another board. Got to be ready to get on the offensive board. That's what Louisville's been doing. You got a box out of your Texas. Van Lip drops in another two. Three-pointer off the mark. Robinson with the rebound. Inside of 90 seconds to go in the third quarter. All Louisville right now. Well, that might have been the easiest look that Holly has had thus far tonight. Louisville has been all up in it. Russell, that won't drop. On the offensive glass, it's Louisville. And it's going to be a traveling violation as Dixon went to the ground. Texas has not hit a field goal in the last five minutes and 10 seconds. It's been hard. I think Texas are trying to find the open looks. And of course, you will look to your scores on the outside. Holly and Gonzalez, number two and number 10. Gaston trying to do as much as she can down low, but other players have got to figure out how to get going. I know Roy Harmon has tried to take some baskets. You've got to take into account layups that have been missed. You look at that run right there. Just, it's been all Louisville since the beginning. Texas shooting 31% from the field. Louisville's defense has progressively gotten better as the season has gone on. It has been elite here in Austin with a spot in Seattle on the line. Harmon got free. I think Roy Harmon has got to start trying to figure out how to get some more points on the basket because other, other options are not working. Final seconds of the third quarter to the hands of Van Lip. About five seconds between the shot clock and the game clock, so Van Lip will have to go. Takes Holly off the dribble and drops in two more. Harmon for three at the buzzer. The Louisville Cardinals, 10 minutes away from Seattle. They outscore Texas 16 4 to close out the third quarter here in Austin. The NCAA Women's Championship is presented by Capital One. What's in your wallets? We welcome you back to the fourth meeting all time between Louisville and Texas. They met in November in the Bahamas. That was a game won by Louisville, 71-63. The stakes are higher here. Spot in Seattle in the Sweet 16 to take on Ole Miss. Ten minutes to go for Louisville. What can the Longhorns do here to try to get back into this game? Because it has been all Louisville. They went four for their last six from the field. The last eight rebounds went to Louisville in that third quarter. 
I think it has to start off with offensive boards or defensive boards rather. They have allowed, Texas has allowed Louisville to get on their offensive boards. They have not been aggressive. Oh! Morgan Jones had one! Did you see Morgan Jones turn that corner and get to the basket? Gets an opportunity for the hand one, but check this out. Look how quick she's going downhill. There is nothing you can do. You can't stop that. And she'll get a chance to go to the free throw line. Jones played some really good minutes in the first half, and she keeps it going here. A chance for a three-point play. Brad Studer from Jonesboro, Georgia. Transferred in from Florida State. First season with the Cards after four years with the Seminoles. And less than 10 minutes away from moving on in the NCAA tournament. I think Texas needs to look at some quicker scoring options to obviously run your play, but try to get some good, good looks at the basket. And that's going to be a foul on Dixon for Louisville. It's going to be a second foul for Dixon. Jeff Walls has been known in his time at Louisville, now in his 16th season, as someone who has had great defensive teams. And this has been easily their best defensive ever so far this season. Gonzalez off the mark. I think the funny thing you can always look at is when you start going through the press conferences and listening to the players talk about the emphasis of defense, of course, from a coach's standpoint, that's what you want. But when the players buy into what it takes to be successful, and I think you look at this game, Louisville has done just that. Well, we saw it against Notre Dame in the ACC tournament. They held the Irish to 38 points in that semifinal win. That was a standout performance. This is going to be right up there with that. Jones with it. Inside a nine to play. Robinson splits defenders, flips it up for two more. <laughs> We just seen the last two possessions for Louisville attacking the basket, scoring at the rim. A 20 to 4 run here by Louisville. Gonzalez back out to Holly. That won't drop. Cards want to push. Van Lith with the feet inside. Timeout, Texas. The cards running away with it here in Austin. Transition game right now for Louisville. They are picking it up and moving the ball up the floor. See Haley Van Lift right here, eyes up, sees the ball, sees the play, sees the cut right on the dime. It's good for Jones. About 15 minutes from now, second round action continues with number two UConn host of number seven Baylor. Nick Mule is a giver. Second in the country in assists, set a UConn single season assist record. How about Sarah Andrews leads the Lady Bears with 15 points per game. Tip from Gamble's on the way for now. We're back at the Moody Center, Erica Tamika. All right, now Lee Edwards so good for UConn in that win against UVM going for a career high 28. Look forward to seeing that one, nine o'clock Eastern time. Stanford, of course making a bid to make it back to another Sweet 16. It was ended by Ole Miss. South Carolina getting there with a win over USF in the second round to advance on to another Sweet 16. And Louisville with a win here tonight will make it to the Sweet 16 for the sixth straight time. They are in control right now on the road, but a foul is called, which will send Texas and win it time to, to the free throw line. Uh, Dixon will get called for that third foul for Louisville. So here's one of the freshmen for Texas at the strike. Louisville has gone on runs in each quarter, Tamika. They started the game with a 7-0 run. They started the second quarter with a 9-0 run. Remember in the third quarter, Texas had a little momentum. This crowd got loud, but then Louisville went on a 12-0 run. And then Louisville started this fourth quarter with a 6-0 run. They have just been ready to go at the start. From the start of this game, the opening tip, you can just tell. Turnover here for the cards when Intanda takes it at Van Lith for two. That's what Texas need to do. They've got to pick up their intensity on the defensive end. Obviously, Louisville 
needing to take care of the ball, set up their offense, slow down the pace of the game. Well, they've done a great job taking care of the ball, haven't they? That's just their sixth turnover tonight against a big shape of defense. Well, you already said it. Louisville been in control since the tip. And you look at the turnovers right there. Immediately, the game started. Texas had two back-to-back -back turnovers to start the game. Louisville came down and scored both possessions. And that's how it looked, even with the run that you talked about. To be honest, I said it because you said it earlier, and I was just borrowing it because I thought it sounded good. So that's what makes you a we'll great teammate. It. Yes, thank you. Another assist for Tamika Catchings. Closing in on seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Van Lith, you know Harmon won't stop defending, and Van Lith won't stop finding ways to score. 19 points for Haley Van Lith. For Haley Van Lith, when she has the ball in her hand, she's, everybody has to guard her. She's probably one of the best players I've seen in a while that can just score at will, and that's something that you've worked on over the last couple of years. When Tonda knocks it down from the outside. And a timeout is called by Texas with 6.46 to go in the fourth quarter. Well, Haley Van Lis so good with the ball. You see it right here. Stop, pull up. Nice little floater going in. Get another look at it. This is what she does well. When she is ready to score and she knows she needs to get a bucket, she gets the bucket. Well, Corey and Jessica, Haley's folks. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but... Uh... <laughs> well, you know, when you got a little nervous energy, but... I can see you doing that, Eric. I can see you doing that. The calmest Van Lith in the building happens to be the one wearing number 10 for Louisville. She was great after the game against Drake because she picked up two first quarter fouls and she said after the game, well, I had fresh legs. I was ready to go in the second half. And was she ever 19 second half points, 13 points in the final four minutes and 16 seconds. She's been spectacular. ACC's leading scorer now up to 19 points a game. And she's been big in the tournament. Remember last year, 22 points against Michigan last season to help Louisville make it to the Final Four a season ago. That's tapped by Gonzalez. Still Louisville ball. This is where you got to watch out because you will see Louisville take off down the road, uh, down the road, down the court. Try to get an easy look. Right now, Gonzalez is playing free safety for Texas. Robinson leads it out to Russell. I think that's one thing, too, and I don't know if you've noticed this. When it got hot in this building a little bit, when Texas was making their run, and you looked over the Jeff Walls, he didn't call a timeout. He was calm, and it just felt like his team had that calmness on the floor as well. Well, when you got Haley Van Lith and you got Mikasa Robinson, and defensively wise, Mikasa Robinson is a player that you always want on your team. Same thing, Haley Van Lith, the way she shoots and scores, going to be a shot clock violation. Rare turnover for Louisville. That's just their seven. Sonia Morris back in the game. Well, Texas needs points and in a hurry. And Morris, 47 made threes on the season, even though she missed 10 games with a quad injury. Yeah, you see that wrap on her legs right there. Oh. Wow. Now Robinson for Louisville gets called for trying to get through the screen. That's going to be four on Mikasa Robinson. We said there might be a little bit of football action out here and Mikasa Robinson trying to fight her way through that screen. Jeff Wall says she is old school, doesn't take plays off, and that he can challenge her. She likes to be coached hard, and she knows I love her. What's not the love? Outstanding defensive player. Does all the little things well. Gaston. Now Harmon. Harmon on the pull up. That won't drop. Kept alive by Wenantanda. Back to Harmon. Second chance here for the Longhorns. 
Much needed basket. Let's see Sanya Morris with the step back. Into the hands of Van Lip with Harmon back. Robinson, but followed up. It's been a team effort for the cards. Morgan Jones on the offensive glass. She's in the double figures, 10 points. Those are the offensive rebound drills that you work on over and over and over again right now. Louisville, 14 offensive boards. Which has led to 14 second chance points. It will be Louisville ball. And that's just work. That's getting down the court. That's following up, being ready to follow a missed shot. Not giving up on the play. Uh, rebound, it's all about heart. Rebounding and defense, you got to have the heart. You got to buy into the system, whatever the coach throws out there. But offensive and boards, when you know the ball goes up, it's me against you, and I'm taking you out. <laughs> <laughs> Timeout is called here by Louisville. Things were a little stuck, and Jeff Walls doesn't want his team to lose their edge right now because it's been a pretty flawless performance so far. I wouldn't say they're pitching a perfect game, but it's Nolan Ryan-esque here in Texas right now for this Louisville team on top by 25 with 5.02 to go. Louisville in the preseason AP poll was seventh. They peaked at number six. But they dropped out by week five in the poll, and they never re-entered the top 25. But they have a chance to go on to Seattle. If they can hold on here against Texas, Ole Miss is waiting. Rebels in the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2007. Congratulations to them. They had lost 27 games in a row to teams in the top five of the AP poll, but they took down Stanford last night. Yeah, that was a fun game to watch, and obviously Stanford, you, know, you gotta give up your props to Tara Vanderveer, but Ole Miss and Coach Yo, as we know her, three players in double figures last night's game. Harmon comes out immediately with the steal to the basket, another Turn. missed layup. Turnover by Louisville out of the timeout, and again, Texas can't convert. Harmon's grabbing at her side here a little bit. Doesn't look to be 100% at the moment. And that's going to be a foul on Holly trying to fight through to defend Robinson. That's well, four on Shea Holly. And here's the problem with that foul. You're fouling her all the way out here. Now, I get that you want to deny the pass back, but get slide through the screen. Van Lith on the drive. Two more. Haley Van Lith with 21, the 18th time she's gone for 20 or more this season. Sixth time in NCAA tournament history for Van Lith that she's gone for 20. There's Holly. Uh, Texas is going to have to press up a little bit more. You got to play better defense. You got to shorten the clock a little bit. And Louisville taking their time with the shot clock. Carr with the shot clock at seven. Game clock inside of four. Robinson creates off the dribble. Rebound by Winnetonda. I think that's too much time. Texas has got to try to figure out a way to speed up Louisville. Yes, good, good shot, Winnetonda. Freshman's been good. Eight points on three of five shooting. Has added four rebounds. All eight points in the second half. And then Harmon knocks it away. Battle for the loose ball. Controlled by Louisville and a timeout to the Cardinals. Three twenty-two to go here in the fourth quarter. And you can see Walls. Make it the four final fours, you know you gotta play the full 40 minutes. For the third straight year, every NCAA Women's Championship game is on the networks of ESPN. For more information, go to NCAA.com. You're home for all 90 NCAA championships. Closing out Sweet 16 tonight.
Connecticut and Baylor coming up after us from a sold out Campbell Pavilion in stores. Later on this evening, Colorado and Duke going head to head. The winner will play Iowa and Seattle. Oklahoma and UCLA will meet later tonight, 10 o'clock Eastern on ESPN2. The winner plays number one South Carolina in Greenville. Winner of this game gets Ole Miss in Seattle. I think Texas, they've got to figure out a way to make Louisville use less of their clock. They're getting it all the way down and then getting good looks at the basket. And offensive rebound. Robinson with another offensive rebound for Louisville. 15 offensive boards for the Cards tonight. Carr with the handle. Robinson on the drive was hit. And the foul of Chips for a three-point play. Gaston and Harmon go down. And Harmon looks like she's in pain trying to get up. You see the drive right here. Carr McCasha Robinson comes over. Two players go down for Texas. And Harmon still rubbing her leg. So now athletic training staff will come out and check on Rory Harmon. You could see on that replay the upper bodies, but whenever you see bodies start to fall, you, you get a little nervous and maybe we'll have a different look and just see if somebody falls into her leg. You can see the first contact there. Yeah, then locked up with Gaston, it appeared. Rory. Rory's folks hoping that their daughter's okay. Missed five games at the start of the season with a foot injury. Texas got off to a very slow start the season, missing their point guard. And now Vic Schaefer along with athletic trainer Rosemary Regal helping Rory. Zach Zillner will be the one who helps Harmon to the end of the bench. Picasso Robinson able to finish with the M1. Seven points now for Robinson. Gaston with two and a half to go. When Tonda will earn a trip to the free throw line as Cochran picks up her fourth foul. I think Cochran's one of those players, when you think back at this game and how it started, she came out fired up. And oh, she, yeah. She's an emotional player, but it really felt she was fully engaged. It was setting the tone just with the passion and the intensity and the team around her was fueled by it. Oh, her first basket was going to the rim. She got the M1 and you remember just like her just screaming loud with excitement. This is the beginning. This is March. It's March Madness is when to go home. So every single possession now. The Cochran will check out. Marissa Russell checks in. Last stand here for Texas as they try to turn Louisville over in the backcourt, but Robinson will walk it across and burn some clock here. We'll take it under two minutes to go in the four.
Robinson, five to shoot. And an offensive foul is going to be called on Russell. That's an offensive foul on Russell, but at the same time, Louisville got what they wanted. They are using the clock. Every single time, they're using the clock. They're running it down to 10, 9 seconds before they start their offense. If Texas wants to get back in the game, they got to generate offense. Got to generate offense off your defense. Just feels like this game has been over since that 12-0 run in the third quarter for Louisville. Texas came out close to deny, but then the Cardinals had an answer. It started on the glass. Gaston gets the put back. And now Texas will jog back. Vic Schaefer knows. He's coaching the NCAA tournament enough. He knows when it's over. And now all that needs to be determined is the final score. And the Louisville fans, you can see it up top of your screen, up on their feet, applauding the effort for their Cardinals. Dixon, Robinson on the cut. Great cut, great finish by Robinson. What she does so well. Final minute. Texas fans will salute their team for a great season. Got a top four seed. Morris knocks it down for her first points. Then Luth will take it across half court. Louisville went to the final four last season, lost to South Carolina. They made their fourth straight trip to an Elite Eight. What an impressive performance for the Cardinals here against Texas. I love the energy. I love the emotion. I love how they started the game. They came out the last two days from the practice they had last, uh, yesterday on Sunday to the shoot around today. They have been locked in and ready to go up against this Texas defense, ready to attack the paint. They got, they've out scored them points in the paint. They've out rebounded them. They flat out have put everything out on the line. Gonzalez. Defended by Carr, the final seconds tick away. Lobo, sweet again. Their sixth straight trip to the Sweet 16. It will be Louisville and Ole Miss in the Sweet 16 in Seattle. Seattle Regional 4 continues to get filled in. Still one more spot as Duke and Colorado will play tonight, the winner to take on Iowa. What a performance by the Cardinals. They win it by 22 to move on to the Sweet 16. UConn and Baylor coming up, but first we go to the studio.